Hi, I'm Ron Hughes, I'm with Bitware. We do FPGA boards and PCI form factors. Um, and we're here showing off our UltraScale Plus 16 nanometer Xilinx board with a VU9P. This board is a double slot PCIe 3 quarter length with up to four DIMM sites that you can get 256 gigabytes of DDR4, or we have custom SRAM modules as well. This board also features four QSF peak gauges to allow you to do four 100 gigabit ethernets or 16 25 gigs. And of course, you can also do 10 gig with it. As well, and what's new with the UltraScale Plus is Gen 3 by 16 which is a new feature with a 16 nanometer, and we have that running in a demo today. All right, so for the demo, we have our UltraScale Plus board in a standard PC chassis with just a regular Xeon, minimal airflow to keep it cool. What we're actually running is we're genning 100 PE traffic out the QSFP port through the hard Mac, back in another QSFP again through the hard Mac, into the guts of the FPGA where we have our DPDK gateware as well as a driver level. So with the DPDK, we actually have MBUFs allocated on the host side where we're going to directly DMA the data into these MBUFs, which is a DPDK way of getting packets in for the multi-core processor. We're also at the same time transmitting packets from the x86 out through the ArcVille driver across PCIe and into the FPGA. So what we're actually showing you on the screen here is we are generating all kinds of different packet sizes. Every 10 seconds we generate a million packets of every size and report the statistics of what the bandwidth across PCIe is, the bandwidth through DPDK, how many packets we're dropping, and we have a graph showing the receive and transmit rates in gigabits per second and then the combined rate. So showing that we actually are receiving Gen 3 by 16, we're getting 150 gigabits per second combined bandwidth across. Now the actual limit in this is not PCI Gen 3, it's the DPDK itself running on a single core processor. We really, for this demo, should have a multi-core processor so that we can share the workload. As well in this demo, we're showing Bitware's onboard monitoring software. So we have an onboard monitor controller that will show you the power of what's going on on the board, monitors all the temperatures, and make sure the FPGA stay within range and we'll take action if they go out.